babe? Did you remember to let Dorian know that Rock eats twice a day? Lots of treat for dinner. Yes, Scotty. Your beloved dog mate is in good hands. Yeah, your brother isn't exactly what I would call good hands. This is the same guy that almost got arrested for stealing Skittles. Hey! Watch your mouth! It's true! I just want to be sure. You know I spent three thousand dollars on a full-blooded dog that was bred to be a legend. We know, babe. You know, I'm thinking about putting my hands on you. Ooh, don't make promises you can't keep. Okay. I think we have pretty much everything set for today. Have you talked to Mike and Chris? You know how Mike moves? He's had everything planned since last week. So anal about everything. One thing we'll never be able to say is he missed his window of opportunity. You know, I'm really thankful for everything you've done for us. I'm really proud of the person you've become. You are truly the love of my life, Scott Schroeder. Me and Rocky don't know what we'd do without you. Both of you bitches would probably be locked in cages. Hey! <laughs> Where are we at with Zoe and Rob? Well, if we know them like we think we do, Zoe is probably standing there with, with puppy, puppy eyes, eyes asking Rob. Rob. Babe, do you think it's time for Botox? For fuck's sake, Zoe. Is there one day you can go without asking me that? Wow, what a, what a supportive man you are. Hey, don't get me started on support. How about you support me by bringing three things of luggage down? The rendezvous is approaching quick. I'm not trying to be late again. <laughs> hey, Rose. Oh, yeah, we're going to be ready. Am I helping? <laughs> of course I am. Hey, babe. Mike and Chris are here. Hey, hey, there's my two artistes. Scotty, two hottie. Oh my God, give me a hug, congratulations. Thank you. Ah, there he is, the deal closer. Hey, how does it feel to hold the most successful title in your family business history, man? <sighs> Feels like a dream, man. But hey, I gotta stay humble, and I definitely gotta keep you guys close. I wouldn't have become what I am if it wasn't for you. Aww. That's so sweet. And where's my Rosie? Rosie's up in the house. Run on up, she's expecting you. Okay, you. Be good. Yes, chef. <sighs> look at you. Inspiring, motivational, and you don't look half bad for your age either. You know what they say, white keep it tight. <laughs> oh, Rosie, where art thou? Thy queen is in thy lord's quarters. Hey, girl. <laughs> Your highness. <laughs> okay. We've got about five minutes before the boys come up. Tell me all about it. Everything has been so much better. I'm talking a complete 180, girl. I'm confident in saying that Scott's father was like a parasite. Girl, was it really that deep? So between you and me, Scott's father was in some sort of pact or fucking cult or something. Rich white man shit? Precisely. And apparently before he died, he was acting real frantic. Everyone at the office was worried about him. He was unrecognizable and kept to himself. I know some people are saying, like, that was just because he knew he was going to die, but no, girl. I think that cult shit was catching up to him. Oh my God, girl. Well, I hope it don't come out he was sacrificing women and Touching little boys. Shit, girl, you never know. Well, above all else, I'm glad that things are working in your guys' favor. The universe always knows exactly when. You know, even though you guys didn't have the best relationship, I know your father would be proud. Yeah, sure. That's something I wouldn't have dared to think I'd hear him say while he was alive. Smug son of a bitch he was. You know, for as long as I can remember, I can't even seem to think of a single time he showed an ounce of compassion. Not a long hug, cried on the shoulders, even a rough rub on the head. 
Anyways, let's not act like I'm the only successful man out here. Mr. Designer of the Year. I mean, I do what I can when I can do it. Look, I'm, I'm to the point where I just like to be called Slash. Oh, you're Slash now. You feel me? Call me Slash the King. I have slashes beside my career titles. I slash my woman in the sack. And if it comes down to it, I'll slash a motherfucker's ass. <laughs> Did you ever think we could get this far? It was all a part of the plan, Scott. The divine plan that was set forth before we were even born. Oh, no. Not you two. Oh, shit. I sounded like Chris, didn't I? Yeah. She's rubbing off on you, bro. Seriously, though. We are proud of you. You should feel very proud of yourself, too. Nothing and nobody can ever deny the amount of hard work and dedication that you've committed. You deserve it, man. Okay, okay. Now let's go get these creatures before we're three hours late. Yeah, I know that's right. <laughs> Mike, you know what that means. Mm -hmm. Gossiping for sure. Alright everyone, we have about 20 to 25 minutes until we're at the house. And quite frankly, I am tired of driving. So let's make this stop quick. Load up on everything you may need for the evening. Rob? Yeah, man. They do not sell Plan B's here, my friend. So please do not ask. And please buy protection. <sighs> Fuck off, Scott. Hey babe, you might give me an Arizona and some Reese's Cubs. Thank you. All right, ladies, we've got about three minutes before Scott comes back in here and wrangles us up. Like a herd of bad bitches. Your turn, Zoe. Tell us what's been going on. Y'all are so nosy. There is nothing juicy to report between the two of us. So, Rob, how's life been treating the two of you? Shit, you know us, man. Just hanging in there. Just trying to figure out which one of us leading, which one of us are blind. <sighs> Listen, I hear you, man. Believe me when I say we've all had gone through it. Nobody, and I mean nobody, has had a cakewalk of a life. I don't give a damn what social media may look like. Shit, I hear you, man. But, but I just want more for myself. Sometimes when all your partner does is post on fucking social media, it's like I'm the only one trying. Yeah, well, that's out of my lane, my guy. I mean, sure, Chris keeps up with hers, but it's more a business move. Have you ever spoken to Zoe about this? I mean, I have, but you know how the hell she is. It's like talking to a fucking painter. I feel like Will Smith and I am legend when he was talking to the mannequin. Yo, any name is Robert? My name is Robert Neville, and I am the last of my kind. Jesus <laughs> Christ, what is taking them so long? Well, when you treat people like shit most of your life, that's what you get. True that. I seen this video where this guy said, when you die, your life really does flash in front of you. But he said like panoramic view, like the new Curve TVs, said you get to see each and every interaction, how you treated people, but from their point of view. That's some wild shit, Chris. Some life karma shit. Like the end of a video game or something. Best advice I could give you is to make the list. List? Yeah, man. Make a list of all the pros and cons and see which one outweighs the other. Make sure you go on your own standards so you can see which you can live with and which you can't. If the list is shitty, then leave. Okay. You're young, grasshopper. Don't settle down too quick. God damn it. The fuck is this problem? Ladies, please. We need to get going. I don't want to be here for 20 minutes. Okay, babe. Jeez. Take it down a few notches. Okay, girl, so what's the name of this place again? It's called Dreadwood. <laughs> that sounds scary as hell. More like Deadwood. Now see, what do you mean by that? Place is a shit show. Supposedly, it's cursed by hobos. There's this guy. Seriously? 
Guys, come on, let's go, now. Scott, I am paying. We'll be out there as soon as we're done. Appreciate it. to support Scott. Support of what? A deadbeat that hardly- Chrissy, baby, please. Scott, baby, you grew up around here? Yes, Zoe, I grew up here. Okay. Wow, baby, how's it feel to be back? Yeah, man, it's been like 20 years. 28 years to be exact. Man, you must be overwhelmed with emotions, huh? I guess so. Especially since he never wanted me to come back here again. Okay. I guess I'll be the one to say it. This shit looks scary as hell. Rest your mind, oh, strangers. Oh. There's nothing scary about this place. Please disregard them. Hi, I'm Rose. We're just here for a nice vacation. Rose. Such a beautiful name and face you have. Thank you. Such a beautiful bunch here. My name is Roma. Well, um, this is Robert and Zoe, Mike, and the wonderful Chrissy, and the love of my life, Scott Schroeder. Schroeder? Heir to the property? Uh, uh yes ma'am, that's right. Well, what a treat. I'll leave you all to get moved and settled. Oh, I trust you won't start any trouble with the neighbors. Oh, no, ma'am. You have my word. We aren't the type to cause any problems. I'm sure. All right, everyone. I know this isn't the Bahamas or Saint-Tropez. But please treat it as such. The interior in here is pretty much what I expected. What did you expect? Honestly? Some old misery shit? I'll be honest, babe. That's about what I expected, too. Okay, okay. Let's get situated. Dope to be taken under you guys' wings and just feel welcome. You guys don't even understand the amount of pressure that was relieved. I think I could speak for us all when I say that our group has come really far. We have Mike and Scott to thank for that. Yes, Lord. It's so amazing to see what these two men right here have been able to accomplish. Because in college, I wasn't too sure. <laughs> <laughs> Rob, don't listen to these two fools. We've been winning since been winning since been winning. Yeah. <laughs> hey, babe. Why are you so quiet? You okay? Hmm? Oh. This is just bittersweet, you know? 
I don't really have many memories of this place. And it's pretty vague on what I do remember. But it makes me feel like I'm closer to my mother. That's the first time I've even heard you mention her. How come you don't speak of her? <sighs> Honestly, Zoe, I don't know much about her. She left when I was a kid. Too early for me to remember. And my father never really discussed it with me. Not even one thing? The only thing I really remember is him saying I had her smile. And she loved rock and roll. Have you tried Ancestry or something like that? Your firm is pretty powerful. You probably could just... No, Zoe. We haven't. So, I don't know if you guys know this, but the reason we call him Scotty Too Hotty is because in college, he would get drunk and rap hot bars. Oh, no. oh, here we go. <laughs> Look, I'm talking about straight conscious, common to look quelly type bars. And he was so serious with it. <laughs> oh, you shit. If I'm lying, I'm lying. Come on, Sky. One time for old time's sake. <laughs> no, 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 no. I am not drunk enough for that. But since we're bringing up talent, Chrissy, oh. let it be known she has that soulful Jill Scott voice on deck. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All this time, and I haven't heard one note. Go ahead, baby. Bless him one time. Please, I gotta hear this. Chrissy, 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 Chrissy. Come on, baby. I've learned not to ask anymore. You have your secrets. You keep them in the dark, like monsters in the shadows. Oh, tell the truth and free yourself, free yourself. Oh, I promise I'm not going anywhere. No, 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 no. Yeah, girl. <laughs> what is it? baby right there. <laughs>
I'm sure they're okay, girl. This is a nice sized piece of land and they're probably just securing it. Yeah, I don't think anybody's even gonna it. Here they come. Well, we didn't find anything. I don't understand. There was rustling in the back and tapping at the front door. I heard it plain as day. I saw something. Something is out there. You said the door was open? Yes, it swung open and the thing knew my name. Me and Zoe were the first ones down here. The door was closed and locked up. What are you trying to say? You think I'm lying? Girl, nobody's saying you made it up. Maybe you were sleepwalking or something. Sleepwalking? Go to hell. Girl, you mean to tell me that the killer turned around, closed the door, and locked it? What logic is that? I don't know, Rose. Look, we trust you. It's just hard to understand how it happened when we have no sign of forced entry or any entry at all. I know what I saw. I know what I heard. Someone was out there and the door came open. What? Chrissy! Rosie, you know we have your back. Let's just try and get some rest and maybe see about it in the morning when it's bright outside. Shit that make me not want to go nowhere with these. Chrissy! Get your ass upstairs, please. It's 30 in the fucking morning. Too hotty. Good morning, man. Good morning, everyone. Looking tasty. Mike, can I chat with you for a minute? Yeah, sure. Don't eat that one. That's mine. Here's my sugar Going on, man. What's with the hobo in the dining room? Hell if I know. She knocked on the door and brought us some homemade food. It was the deal. Well, being that a psychopath was just knocking at our door last night, don't you think it would be wiser to not invite strangers in? I can see that. But you know, there wasn't really that much evidence that there was a psycho. Tell that to Rose! Listen, I can appreciate that Rose is going through something right now. But don't raise your voice at me, Scott. Yeah? What are you gonna do about it? Do we got a problem? Scott, that is enough! I'm so sorry. I don't know what's gotten into him. It's been like this since we left. Really? Just take care of Mike. I'm gonna go find Scott. I didn't notice that he was going through something. Scott! 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 Hey! What is it? Rose. Honey, I'm so sorry. I don't know what's gotten into me. It's like... Like there's this dark cloud hanging over me. And it's just gotten worse since I got here. I don't know what the hell has gotten into you either. I've never seen this side of you before. I don't like it. Babe, wait! Rose! What is it? Rose, I'm apologizing. It's on me. I fucked up. But I'm back now. Can you forgive me, please? Ow! Okay, I guess I deserve that. Yeah, you did. You're an asshole. And you're as beautiful as ever. Hey! Where are you going? 
going? Child, is everything all right? Lord have mercy, Roma. You scared me. Everything's fine. We're just going back in to enjoy some more wonderful food that you brought over. <sighs> so, Roma, tell us a little bit about yourself. Apologies if I'm wrong, but you seem to have gypsy to say. That's right, beautiful. My great-great-grandfather was Gypsy, and actually part founder of this place. Well, that is interesting. Ooh, I do not do history. I'm gonna go get in trouble. Babe, do you care to join me? Yes, boo. <laughs> no, I don't have a choice. Let's go to the master bedroom. Ooh, you feel like that, huh? Oh, Just sure. like that. Okay. You know, this place wasn't always called Dreadwood. Oh really? What was it called before that? Okay. No, I said Beg. It was actually called Clarash, which is derived from Calderash. My ancestors were coppersmiths and thrived a long time ago. Coppersmiths are people that craft and create things, babe, especially with copper. Thanks, babe. Back when things were so simple. After a while, our jobs were taken and we were shunned. Many of us were harassed and beaten, and we were taken from our homes and our towns. Our ancestors know that story far too well. Yeah, such terrible stories that we share. Oh, oh, oh shit. Damn. Damn, baby. Is that you hitting your head? Just hit me in the head. What is it? It's a diary, that's all it It says it's Thomas Schroeder's diary. Thomas. Thomas. Wait. That's Scott's dad. He must have left a long time ago. It's worn and tattered, but it started when he was older. I bet he was something else. No telling what you'll find in that thing. <laughs> you think they're part of Illuminati? <laughs> he made a cut list. A, a cut list? A cut list. Mm, Papa was a freak freak. It says the last woman he took down was a woman named Cher. Like the singer? <laughs> no, fool. Don't you think it's weird that Scott's father was the complete opposite of him? And he never talked about his mother much. I mean... I think that she left his father and he just never really talked about it. I mean, with you saying he was a player, him being a dick, and you had the money, yeah, she definitely left his ass. Poor Scott had to deal with all that. Same shit that goes on in the hood. After a while, we were less than stable and we would do anything for money. Many people who were once prosperous and respected were literally a part of the circus. It was there that some of us honed our abilities to speak. Roma. Oh my God. Roma, you were saying? Ah. Uh. Yes, actually, I just remembered I have a prior commitment that I need to be getting to. It was wonderful talking to you. Likewise, Roma. Actually, we would love to finish the story with you and keep in touch. Do you mind if we exchange numbers? Scott, man, we gotta talk. Mike, man, I know. I'm so sorry. That's not it, bro. We have something much deeper than that. What's going on? Well, come on, everyone. Not everyone at once. 
Look, your dad is a fucking murderer, and I don't feel comfortable staying here anymore. <laughs> what? Rose, it's not a joke. We found his dad's diary, and it says that he killed a gypsy woman. Come on, guys. This isn't funny. There's no way that's true. Right, Scott? Where is it? Scott, what? Where is the diary? Bro, what's got into you? How can that be your only question at a time like this? Clearly he doesn't care. He obviously already knows about it. So what were you going to tell us, Scott? I mean, what the fuck? You brought us all the way out here knowing this? No, 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 no. I don't believe this. There's no way that's true. This has to be some sick, twisted game you're playing. Come on. Where is the diary? Back the fuck up, Scott. I'm warning you. Diary, Zoe. Where is the diary? We got to get the hell out of here, Zoe. Hey, 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 diary! Stop it, stop it! Stop it. Stop it. Stop. Scott, what's wrong with you? Just give him the damn diary. Let's be adults about this. Look, for all we know, Scott knew nothing about this. It's kind of a bob to drop on someone anyways. She's right, guys. He hasn't even answered the question. This all could be a bit much for him. A bit much? How do you think Zoe feels about all of this? I mean, don't get me wrong. We've known Scott for a while, but he's been acting different ever since we got up in this motherfucker. I mean, look, he just lunged at a woman. Yeah, F what you talking about, Rose. There's something deeper going on, and I'm not trying to find out. Come on, guys. Let's think about what he's going through. Put yourself in his shoes. It, his last parent just passed away. He was a piece of shit, I know. But that's all the family he had. And Scott has gone above and beyond for every single person in this room. And I think at least this one time we can show up for him. And if you don't think so and you want to walk out the door, then you can walk out of our lives as well. Shit, I'm the fuck up out of here. Zoe! Zoe, my eyes! If you think staying here is going to leave anything different than some shit, that's what we are. <laughs> Guys, I can't apologize enough for everything. Losing my head, lashing out, and of course, you all having to find out about my dad. I think I'll speak for all of us when I say we didn't think he knew. Girl, speak for yourself. Um, the way he was acting, I didn't know what to believe. Chrissy. Well. Hey, how's everything? Rob, man, again, I am so sorry. Right, don't worry about Scott. Let's just make sure this doesn't interfere with our emotions. Are you kidding? A guy with a headlock like that? I'd be scared to say no. Consider it yours. Oh, you've got to be fucking kidding me. Zoe, come on. I don't blame her, man. I was out of control. She has every right to be upset. And to tell you the truth, I'm not sick of her anyways. Kind of glad she split. Well, this is turning out to be the best getaway yet. Chrissy! This is stupid. I'm in the country, in the back of the woods. I don't even hang back here. This ain't my kind of place. I need blue water, white sand, somewhere happy, peaceful, joyous. This is like some racist shit. I'm ready to be hung off this motherfucker. Let alone the neighbors probably don't even want me on their goddamn property. I got Zoe, come here with me. What the hell? Come on. Who is that? What was that? Let me show you something. What were you at? Let me show you something. What the hell? I'm applying for me. You better be trying to make up for this bullshit you got me out here in.
Rob, you should probably get that. Or I can sell his ass. Oh my god. We just forgot about her. She did. Hey guys. Look oh. who's here. Hey. It's Roma. She comes bearing gifts. Roma, you gonna put 10 pounds on me. <laughs> Forgive me, children. I'm just so happy to see new faces. Hey, yo, keep this up. We about to put you on payroll. Have you catered one of our shows? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Zoe? We were just asking that question. Yeah, Rob, where's our favorite IG model? Uh, you guys are too funny. Um, Roma, she was outside. You didn't happen to see her, did you? No, I did not. How long has she been gone? Well, about 40 minutes now. Come, I'll help you look for her. Yeah, yeah. Okay, what the fuck is going on? I'm starting to get worried, yo. Didn't hear anything up there. Nothing at all. Where's Roma? She was right here with me. <laughs> what the hell, Mike? Baby, right here. Right, right here. Is everyone okay? Got you good? I just can't stand here. She could be hurt. No, she's scared of everything. She could be dead, too. No, hey! Hey! On, I'm sorry. That was wrong of me. I've been watching too many horror films. Okay? Fuck all this, man. I gotta go out there. Hey, 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 We have to plan this. Like, there actually is someone out there that wants to harm us. Oh, yeah. What the fuck? Mike? What? I wasn't about to come to no wrong turn town without that thing. You so fucking sexy. <sighs> Rob, you and I will go look for Zoe, since I'm part of the reason she's missing. Hey. It's okay. I'll be back, I promise. Mike, you stay here with the girls. If you're a safe place, you can barricade if needed. Bunker down and stay as quiet as possible. Come on, girls. <sighs> Rob, do me a favor. Yeah, man. We're out there and shit goes sideways. I want you to take over at the office. Okay. Listen to me. You're a leader. This is what you've been working for. You're ready. Okay, Scott, what the entire fuck is going on? I wish I could tell you, man. All I know is that something isn't right. Whoever was standing there, it wasn't Zoe. I keep thinking about that, too. It seems like a trap. It seems like... Oh, man. I see you. Fuck. Oh, shit. All right, so what's the plan? I'm scared as hell. Without exposing too much light, turn down your phone brightness. Call Zoe's phone. It's a great idea.
always been nagging in my brain this whole time. What? Where the hell did Roma go off to? That's a good question. Because how did she leave without us seeing her exit? Okay. Because this shit ain't adding up. Fuck! I don't know. I don't see anything. I gotta go out there and see. Oh, hell no. What the hell are you thinking? Chrissy, this is not the time. Mike, she's right. What are you thinking? You have to stay here. Listen, if I don't go out there and protect you, then how can I protect you all if we're all in the same room? Then we all just go out two motherfucking together. I'm not letting <laughs> shit. Okay. Okay. I gotta do this. Baby. I love you. I love you too. Babe. Come back to me. Please. Whoa, 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 it's me, it's me. The hell, man, I could have killed you. What the fuck are you doing? I'm looking for you guys. Is everyone good? Yeah, we're good. Where's Rob and Zoe? Damn, damn, damn! What the hell happened, man? I don't know. He just took off and I hesitated. He got a few yards ahead of me. It was dark. The only way I could see him was the light of his phone. I heard a loud screech. Screech? And then I just took off. Well, did you see what happened? Like, I don't know what it is. But it isn't human. What do you mean it isn't it's human? It's not human, Mike. Whatever it was, it was able to blend in with the fucking woods. Blend in? Are you telling me that we're dealing with some kind of alien? I'm telling you, it's not human! It got robbed, and I'm pretty sure Zoe is gone too. Mm -hmm. Fuck that! I gotta get back to Chris, and we gotta get the hell out of here now! Right. Where are they? Follow me. Go ahead. They're just in there. I'm right behind you. Trust me. Just go. Just go. No. No. No, where's Mike? I'm sorry, Chris. Scott, what happened? What happened to Mike? It got him. It? What do you mean, it? <laughs> what are we up against? I wish I could tell you. Some creature alien something it got rob i'm pretty sure it killed zoe too <laughs> guys we have to move we are sitting ducks in this room it'll find us if we stay here we have to get up and out of here i don't think i can i can't go without my baby mike we want you to get up and out of here he will not I want you to stay here and die. We cannot let you down, okay? I can't, Rose. I can't. Chrissy, look at me. If we don't get up and out of here, that thing is going to kill us. And I'm not about to stay here and die. And if you want to do that, you can stay here alone. Okay. Let's get out of here. Where's his body? Where's the blood? He's not dead. Chrissy, please, we don't have time for this. We have to go now or we will die. You guys do what you want. I'm gonna find Mike. Chrissy, we don't have time. Rose, no, we don't have time for this. She's my best friend. Rose, if we do not leave now, we will die. Thank you. 
living room is clear. No, 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 no. 